Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Hank's DSL, and I've come back to talk about Calibre again. Um, because there's a few things uh, I didn't cover in my last video. I thought as I'm actually doing these things this morning, it might be worth covering that now. Um, some of the things is the way it handles metadata and bulk renaming and sorting and stuff. Uh, so if you didn't see my last video, I made a video earlier in the week um, talking about Calibre, what it does for me and how it works, the basics. Um, and I thought I'd come back now and talk some more. So uh, this here is a book in my library that is, uh, that is a Moby format and it has what essentially is the wrong cover. Now there are two ways we can get the cover. We can use Control D um, once I've said, yeah, once I've selected the application. Yeah, and we can go uh, download metadata only covers both configure download blah blah blah. Or we can just hit E to edit this book directly. Now of course we can always right click and we can go to metadata and download covers or edit individually. But in this case, I think I think editing E will be enough. Now. Uh, this whole screen here looks really confusing, but it's actually really straightforward. These are the formats up here that are available in your library. Uh, this here is the long name and long author name. And then it, it's, it's the sort, title and sort name. So if it's called the blind spot, it'll be blind spot comma the, and it'll sort by that information. If it's a lot often if you download um, a file from a red general place in the internet, the, uh, the title and the author may be switched depending how that store does its sorting. So you can hit the button here and it just swaps them around. Like if I do that, look, it just, Swaps them around, right? Uh, very simple to do and saves you a lot of time once you learn them, believe me. Uh, and now for this one, we're going to want the metadata. So we download metadata here, or by default, download from Amazon and Google. There's the metadata there. So, okay, well, so we'll just go okay there. Uh, and then it'll, it'll prompt you for cover next automatically. And that's a nice cover. We'll have that one there. Look at that. Uh, and then we just apply that. We just hit okay, and we're done. However, if you just wanted the cover here, you could just go download cover. And you could just get the covers list if you're already happy with your metadata. Um, or if you just want the metadata, you can just cancel when it gets to cover. Uh, most, I like to keep my books rated, but obviously books I haven't read, I can't rate. And some of the books come down with a rating from the store. For, if you find it on Amazon, for instance, it'll have a Kindle rating already. It's really convenient because when you look through your library, it gives you an idea, like, that's a one-star book. Did I do that? Or did, you know, did Amazon do that? Either way, probably not worth reading. Um, also, if you have your own covers, if you want to make your own cover view book, there's actually you can actually browse your file system here and just actually find a cover. Um, you pull it in, which is nice. And also there's a generate cover thing, which generates this uh, standard form cover, which is just a white page. Uh, or at least that's what it used to do. Oh, there you go. Look at that. There you go. But yeah, we have to download covers for that again. <laughs> but that's actually not a bad way of it. If you can't find a cover, that actually looks all right in your library. It doesn't look horrendous. And then we hit OK, and we're done. And again, we can edit the uh, we can edit all the metadata it finds, the series. We can edit all this. We're free to do that, including HTML if you want to do something fancy in there. Don't know why you would, to be honest. Um, Markdown would have been enough here, to be on, you know, in my opinion. Uh, anyway, when you hit OK, you'll see it instantly changes. Now, if there's a few books uh, that you want to do, for instance, I want to do all these books here. Uh, and that, that one's a good example. That one's got the wrong name there. So if I, wait, well, it's got the correct name for the store, but not the name I want for it. So if I just do this, let's see if we can get that there. So I can hit Control D there, and I want to download uh, metadata only. Now, you don't want to do covers by default. You probably want to just grab metadata because it's a lot faster because what will happen is, you go covers and you've got like you've set like 20 books it's got down to 20 images and then you may not like them you may not like the images the images might be a google search and it's just like a photograph of the book from an angle it's super annoying so actually i recommend doing the covers individually um and doing the uh and then doing the metadata in bulk because it does, it does okay and you'll see here if you click on jobs down here you'll see that the job is actually doing you just hit escape to close that uh, and when it again the long, the more you do the longer it takes we've done a bunch of books here to just illustrate what's happening there you go, it pops up there. Metadata complete for five books. One, two, three, four, five. Well, we did six books, so one failed. So we can, if we want, review the metadata or show the failed one, but we're just going to go, yeah, we're fine, that's fine. And then it's corrected that one book there that I wanted correcting. And it's added in my, I should have added, I did not add the series. Okay. So in this one, um, oh, the Victor Prime. No, there it is. There you go, it did add the series there. Uh, yeah. A lot of books come in series. Like if you've got if you've got the new Jedi Order books, which are a series of old Star Wars books before Disney ruined it, you'll find that they'll all be part of the Star Wars thing. And you can right click on that as well. Uh, you can go, oh, I want to, I want to, I want to, like, yeah, I want to. Uh, where, where is it now? Oh my brain! I'll oh, show similar books. Show show book details or similar books. That's what we want. So we can similar books and Control and Alt A by default will show the author. Um, and books in this series is Alt Shift S. A shortcut key I can't remember. I don't know. Alt A is the only one of these things I can actually remember. Uh, Alt T is pretty useful as I'll show the same tag. So let's look at the books in this series. There's all the books in this series. 
uh, that you can just go through and find. And if, once we're done with that, we just hit escape and it clears that search bar again. Now, some of the other things that Calibre can do that people don't really know it can do is bulk editing. So if I've got, for instance, now I'm not going to apply this because that'd be stupid. But if I just get like a bunch of books here, like if I was to get, in fact, if I was to get like these three books here, I can right click and I can edit the information in bulk. Um, so if I set the author as Todd now, and I hit OK, it'll change all those books to Todd. Um, or if there's a series of science fiction books and they've and they've called themselves uh, science fiction dash adventure, you just remove that and you just want it to be science fiction. Add tag. Science fiction. So a lot of books you might get, they'll have like weird to look, like the publisher will have like science fiction and subcategories. When you're running your own caliber, caliber library, you can kind of make it annoying to uh, to deal with that because you just want science fiction. You don't care what subgenre it is, at least I don't. I'm like science fiction, science fiction, so I just want to know what science fiction is. Uh, so yeah, you could do this. What I've just done here, we'll actually remove the word Todd there because that's not going to be. Um, yeah, so uh, if up here, if, so what this will do is this will remove science fiction dash adventure from all the books I've selected and add science fiction, which is great, which is really great. Or if you just like don't want any of the tags, you can be like, just clear all the tags. Just does every tag on that book and just call it science fiction. Uh, and at this point, that would just clear all and just call it science fiction, which is, you know, probably ideal. And there's also, you can also click this to open a tag editor so you can select the tags on your system. Tags in this drop down here um, are dictated by the books you've already got in. So I've got a bunch of books that already have science fiction Star Trek, science fiction space opera. So I'm like, I should at some point strip them down. But I've got a large library and that took a long time. Um, I've got all this sample data in my library. It took a long time to... Uh, skin all them down so i'm not going to do that i might do that over time but i'm not going to do that in a rush and again we could also generate default covers for more than one to two uh we could trim covers and so if you've got a pit in image where like sometimes as i said it'll find a google search and it'll be like a photograph of the book on someone's desk and that's where it thinks the cover is if you select like, trim it will just take all those images and try and trim it down the reason it says dangerous is because often it'll fuck up real hard um not probably not worth you um and again if you've got moby files i think epubs do it as well i'm not familiar i'm not that i use a kindle uh, I'm not familiar with EPUBs really, uh, but if you've got EPUBs, uh, I think and you got Mobis, that sometimes they've got an embedded cover, so there's a cover actually tagged into the file, so you can just set it from ebook if you wanted to as well. And it'll just set it from from that rather than downloading it. Uh, and yeah, and there's also a search and replace function you can use, so you can be like, okay, so if it's this, change it to this, and you can you can get really verbose if you want to. I think that's probably more than most people will ever need for that. Um, yeah, and uh, again, don't forget you can just hit E. If you wanted just quick access to the edit and it also it's useful here that it shows you all the formats you've got um, i actually think that's pretty useful um yeah it's uh, it's all right like this one here's got the wrong yeah you know, this one here's got the wrong color so let's actually do this one now again let's uh so we hit e to get that up uh I'm, there's no there seems to be no metadata there so we'll see if we can scan for the metadata here now, it's already a mobi so should, i mean really i'm like amazon provide all the mobis right you think they've put all the metadata in there properly they do not they do not uh black tie that seems like a fine cover they go, yay. No, I mean, the thing is, though, especially when you've got a Kindle, the covers don't really matter. Like, like, because, like, when your Kindle's off, you're going to see, like, stupid fucking typewriter. These Kindle stuff, uh, the cover thing is really useful if you've got a Kobo or a Nook, where it'll show the cover of the book you're reading when your device is in lock mode. Um, you know how I feel about that? Because, like, I read some real trash, right? And it's like, do I want people seeing my trash? I don't know. But then again, it also looks really nice to just lock the screen and see the cover. I wish there was an option on Kindle. At least I could, you know, decide book by book then if I wanted to do it. That'd be nice. But apparently, Amazon don't like having giving us free will. Um, I should. Um, I am actually going to buy a new e-reader for myself as a Christmas present. I'm going to buy the Oasis. I looked at the Kobo, but the, the build quality in the Oasis just seemed better. Um, and I was like, oh, you know. Anyway, I don't know why I'm rambling about this random thoughts so we finished a bit about uh, we finished our little talk about uh, metadata so let me show you something else that people miss in calibre or at least i believe people miss you hit the layout button down here um it's got a couple more options where you can show and hide assets of the ui one of the things it's got that i really like is this so you, this, is, this is a good example of why it's good like here I, they can just browse rather than just having to go down 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 see the covers i can uh, just see the covers here and i can go okay this one here has got the wrong cover so i can hit e from there it all works the same um metadata is fine i can see the metadata is fine here so just want to download a cover see if we can find a better cover uh there you go that's a fine cover i guess we shouldn't oh that that sort of the same theme as the other books in this era so maybe we'll do that and then you hit go and it, again it will just do it instantly without any problems at all and there's another one here so again it, we can what we could do let's roll the dice with this one let's use the automatic thing and just get covers only 
and we'll see what it does. Uh, it's, it's processing your job here. Maybe I'll find a good one. I don't think you will. I think you'll just be like, yep, this cover's fine. So let's go, yes. Oh, no, that's fine. That's not a bad color. That's okay. That's fine. Um, so let's uh, again try that. And then let's try covers only and see where it gets. But uh, the, the joy of this is, like, as I said, I don't need the covers for my Kindle, right? But sometimes when you're like, what should I read? You know, it's nice to just browse down. You shouldn't pick a book by its cover. But especially when like you got these like I like I like really old like fifties like sixties seventies science fiction. So I can scroll down and see images like this. I'm like oh, I want to read that. You know I know what that's about. Um, I don't think it really it doesn't really like it's not useful. Like like ebooks don't need covers is what I'm trying to say right. But I do think they add to your overall experience. And there's a lot of things there's a lot of things that you'll be like okay that one, that's good. Yeah there we go there we go. Look at this one look at this one. What's that one? Oh my god that's a real book. Uh, yeah, uh, so let's do that. I like that. I actually quite like that. It's pretty. Uh, download covers only. So yeah, this is how you do it. Anyway, this is just good. Thing. This is the easiest way of doing it. Oh, I should probably show you one more. Hey, there we go. Done. Um, and then if we uh, if we take off the cover grid, we also have the cover browser, which is a weird thing, right? Um, but you can just like, I don't understand why you'd use this, to be honest. <laughs> Maybe if you're just trying to like check out my book, you can scroll forever. I don't quite get. I mean, I don't find this that useful. Um, or maybe you could generate a screensaver. I mean, I don't know, like a screensaver or something. I don't know. But uh, I don't. I don't really see the point in that myself. But again, you can just hide it. But I like it's there if you want. I mean, this is obviously the better way of actually browsing ebooks. Um, this is the better way of doing it. But you can also. Uh, you can also decide to like, okay, so I don't need the book details. So you can click the button there and that book detail on the right goes away. I happen to like book detail. Or you can be like, okay, I want to, I want to, the tag browser, let's hide the tag browser. And now you've just got more space, which is probably a better way of doing it actually, because the tag browser is kind of pointless for me. Um, but yeah, it's nice to be able to do all these things in Calibre. And remember, all these things in Calibre, if you're on Linux, it'll be in your home directory under Calibre Space Library. And it'll just be in your My Documents slash documents, I think, on Windows. And God knows where it goes on Mac. But you can take this, uh, you can take this Calibre library, and you can just drop it. You can just drop it, like take it out it is, and store it somewhere. And then if you ever reinstall, you can just pull back the folder, restart Calibre, and it'll be like, okay, there you go. Um, so all this stuff you do can be a long-term investment. If you've got lots of eBooks, if you've got quite a few eBooks, you can uh, you can make the decision to like, okay, I'll back. Like for instance, you can put it on cloud storage and then sim link it over, um, so it's always there. Or if you're on Windows, you can just like make a link thing. I don't. You must be able to do that on Windows, I assume. But yeah, you can just have it so that you're your books just go to your cloud storage without any problems, which is quite, I think, quite a good idea, to be honest. Um, I did have a mess about this morning, trying to figure out about how to make this darker in Linux. And yeah, it seems like it picks up your KDE theme, but it doesn't, I mean, I don't use KDE, so I don't know. Um, I haven't found a way to make it dark, and it's super fucking annoying to me that it's like, that it's not dark, because I spend a lot, I've been spending a lot of time in the last few days, because I've been sorting books out and stuff. And yeah, just, it's, it's just, uh, let's download both for that one. Uh, yeah, it's just, uh, a bit stark and I like everything I like I have headaches. I like everything dark and just dingy. I enjoy dark and dingy and this is not provided for me at all. So anyway, uh thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed my pretend list of books uh, and you know you've learned a little thing about covers. So thank you and goodbye. And if you did come to this channel specifically for the caliber content, please do let me know in the comments. Um if you want more caliber content and thoughts and stuff, uh, like how to use the news fetch, which is the pointlessest thing, the pointlessest, the most pointless thing in caliber in my opinion. Uh, then you can just let me know what you want. Like if you want me to look at something, I'm pretty familiar with it uh, because, you know, I have a lot of books. So, yeah, thoughts. And don't forget you can support me over on patreon.com slash hexdsl. Also, you can support um, Calibre on patreon.com slash Calibre. I think it's slash Calibre. I assume that's where it is. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.